Hi there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your little RV specialist. Started by our mom and dad in 1976, we are proud to be a second-generation family-owned and operated business. My friends call me Luke and my sisters call me Charlie, but you can call me anytime at 440-OHIO-RVs. A member of our growing team would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. Again, that's truckandrv.com. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see the pricing and information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full-service dealer offering warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 440-OHIO-RVs. Again, that's 440-OHIO-RVS. For sale today, we have a 2002 Chinook Destiny with 52,227 miles. Alrighty, folks, here we are inside of this 2002 Chinook Destiny. As usual, I'm going to start in the front, work my way towards the rear. I'm going to do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan as well as the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are proud to be a second generation family owned and operated dealership. All of these RVs go through the same inspection process before they hit the web. We'll go through a full demo with you at the time of sale, answer any questions you may have. Got a very nice unit here. Chinook is known for their quality, the one-piece molded exterior fiberglass shell, and just quality throughout. We've got hard surface flooring in this one throughout. It makes it easier to keep this clean. Got about 76 inches of headroom in the main part of the coach, about 74 and a half here in the rear where it bumps down. Got a fantastic fan here and also one here. These can act like exhaust fans or attic fans at night. If you open up the windows, it will bring the cool outside air in. These run on the coach batteries. Got your air conditioner here. It's controlled via the thermostat here. The thermostat also controls the propane furnace. Got windows that open on this portion with screens over here and screen on this portion over here. We've got day night shades on this side and we've got just your standard night shades on the other side. Got AC power here, got DC power from your coach batteries. This switch is for the little mood lighting. We got speakers in this coach. They're run via the head unit up over here. We'll see later on. Got AC power back here in the kitchen. AC power over here and over here. Here's the switch for those mood lights on this side. We've got nine total seat belts in this unit. So we got three on the couch, two under this bench and two under this bench. There is storage beneath those benches. The seat belts are down there now. We've also got the two up front. So a nice dinette area here. I'll flip you around now. Got a TV, uh, TV antenna crank there. You do not want to drive around with that TV antenna up. So we got a power sofa here. This sofa, you're going to push the button. It's going to flatten out to make a bed. You can take the dinette table here. That's going to come down here to create a support. You'll use these cushions to make up another bed. I'm going to go ahead and drop some pictures now so you can see what that looks like and get some measurements. The power sofa measures approximately 49 inches east-west or side-to-side -side and 75 inches north-south or front-to-back. Folded up in the sitting position, it measures approximately 22 inches east-west or side-to-side -side and 75 inches north-south or front-to-back. The dinette bed measures approximately 37 inches east-west or side-to-side -side in the coach and 67 and a half inches north-south or front-to-back. Storage and four additional seat belts are located beneath the dinette seating. The fresh water tank and water pump are located beneath the power sofa. Moving now into the kitchen area. We've got Corian countertops. We've got a dual basin sink. We've got a little spice rack here. There's a plug in up here for you to plug in your coffee maker or something like that. Some storage up top. Got a switch over here for the water heater that ignites itself. Heated tank switch. Got DC power here. Got a paper towel holder. Little bag storage. Got this nice big slide out uh, counter extension. So that counter extension slides out. Got the drawers that have the Chinook branding on that. 
got our fuse panel here, everything's labeled. So we got our AC breakers and our DC fuses. A noxious gas detector. Got a three burner propane cooktop. Overhead fan and light. Got our levels test here for our holding tanks, our propane tank, and our coach battery. The holding tanks are notoriously finicky, so don't always trust those. You push this button to check that. Water pump on off. That pumps the water out of the onboard fresh water tank. Got that hood light and fan switch. We've got our microwave here. This runs on AC power, so your shore power plug-in or your generator. Got a separate three-way fridge freezer. So we got our freezer portion up top. And our fridge down below. This is a three-way, meaning it runs on AC, so your short power plug-in or your generator. DC, meaning your coach battery or propane gas. I recommend leaving that on the auto setting. You will know, do what it needs to do to stay cool as long as you have the appropriate fuel. Got some water connections there in the back of that. Nice drawers. Got a nice big closet here with three slide out drawers. Waiting on a part or something for this. So I do have that on my needs attention list here on the sheet for the guys. So when I do list these up, I have a needs attention section on my sheet. And that is something that goes back into the shop and those guys can touch up the last few things on our coaches. So if there's something I don't mention that's small, a lot of the times that just gets fixed anyway. So uh, just disregard that, but that's a noxious gas detector. Got our start stop switch for our own generator. This is a 4K gas generator, has 219 hours. Fresh service, fresh oil change by our certified Onan techs. Got our entry light, porch light, awning light, our dump light, and our step switch. Got a nice big closet. Got our awning center rafter there on the left. Nice, easily accessible entryway. We got AC power down here by the floor. Got our fire extinguisher. Got a screen door on the rear entry. And check out the bathroom now. So here in the bathroom, got a fantastic fan overhead and a light. Use that for your exhaust fan. Got a nice medicine cabinet here. Not too much of a step up and in here at all. So essentially, Got one big wet dry room. You're going to get inside of here and take care of all your business. Got the shower curtain to pull around you to help contain the water. Really nice clean bathroom on this unit. Here we are standing in the rear of the coach. What kind of vegetable is kind to everyone? The sweet potato. Got a DC plug-in back here, so you can charge your phone or something like that while you're riding along. Got some more speakers. Here's that tuner or head unit that controls what is playing through the speakers. We've got a controller for the solar panel on the roof. This is where the VCR would have been originally. Our guys put a DC charging station in here. It's got a couple USB plugs. You can plug in your goodies there. Got a 19 inch DVD uh, built in into this TV here. So we got a TV with a built in DVD player. Got lots of room up top. Got our manuals in the leather bag. Some blocks for the windshield. Got a privacy curtain that you can button up front here to block off the cab while you're parked. Got an AC plug-in up here as well. Nice storage space. Well, we do have a little tiny screw hole there. And also on this side. Also got, while I'm peeking at it, just a couple tiny marks right there. But all in all, we've got a really, really nice Chinook here. This one is in fantastic condition inside and out. I'm gonna call this a 9.5 out of 10. Finding a uh, hard time, finding a whole lot of flaws on this one. Very good looking inside and out, nice floor plan. This Chinook is ready to hit the highway. 
Check it out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV Brothers. Up here in the cabin area, we got power windows, power locks, power heated mirrors, tilt cruise, CD player. Got nice plush leather flex steel seats up front. Both of these seats are power. Not seeing any signs of smoking. The cigarette lighter is unused, so while it's tough to say for certain, I'm going to call this a non-smoker. Got a glove box compartment here. Got DC power. Got our backup camera monitor. We've got a screen here that'll tell you when your outside compartments are open. I've got one open here. This thing's plugged in so I can run the AC today. It's pretty hot out. Got the driving lights, vehicle boost start. This will boost you from the coach batteries if you were to run the engine battery dead. Start stop for the generator. You can start and stop that while you're driving. Do all that up here if you'd like. Coach battery disconnect. This will disconnect the coach batteries to prevent parasitic draw. This will also disconnect the charging systems, which are the shore power plug-in, the alternator while you drive, or the generator. Also got storage back here behind the seats. Tuck some goodies back here. Alrighty folks, we're gonna go around the outside of this 2002 Chinook Destiny. This RV measures 23 feet bumper to bumper with an 11 foot manual awning. The tires have 4818 date codes. This Chinook is built on a Chevy 3500 chassis with an 8.1 liter V8 engine with 52,227 miles. Got that famous one piece molded fiberglass body that Chinook is so well known for. This one is a very good looking unit here. Very nice stripes. Just a little bit of age on the Chinook logo. But other than that, the striping and overall look is excellent. Got our porch light here. Got our propane tank up underneath that's attached to the unit. Storage bay, got two coach batteries. Got dual rear wheels. Got the back of our refrigerator, furnace exhaust. Got our own and 4K generator here. Fresh service, fresh oil change by our certified own and techs. Got our generator exhaust and our engine exhaust. Got a ladder for rooftop access. We do have a tow package underneath here. You'll have to get a hitch extender to use that. It's a little tough to see. Got a storage bay here. Was not able to get any sound out of these from a quick play around with them. However, on the ones we've had before where these work, those are not the greatest sound experience. So you'll probably want to take a Bluetooth speaker with you. Got AC plugins here. We've got 12 volt power, got a light, got the spare tire up and down that's underneath the coach that goes up and down with power here. A power step. Got a screen door and our backup camera. Step goes right back in. Got our sewer drains here. We got our gray and our black. You're gonna pull the black first, then the gray. Got the back of the water heater. We've got a sewer flush here. Fill for the onboard fresh water tank. City water fill. Got our shore power cord. Cable TV in, phone jack in. Got an outside shower, it's nice for kids, pets, going to the beach, going four-wheeling. Got the fuel fill for the engine and the generator. Nice big storage bay. Schnook logo is in better shape on this side. Lots and lots of shine on this one. So all in all, we've got a really, really nice Chinook Destiny here. This one is ready to hit the highway. Here's a look at the Chinook logo and the stripe up top. We've got just a little tiny boo-boo there on the hood. You can see small nicks on the stripes. But again, this is a great looking unit. Mm -hmm.